Hello, this is Martin Brossman, KI4CFS, and WX0MIK. My name is Mike Wills, and uh, you can also call me Weather Mike. All right, Weather Mike. Well, <laughs> today I want to talk about the educational ham radio wiki you build and what it is and how people can access it because we met through the group I started on supporting people learning and understanding ham radio. And you've been kind enough to be one of our moderators in the group. We'll mention that at the end, but I just want to talk about what you created, how people can use it, what it is and understanding it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm a person who likes to organize information, so to speak. Um, so when I built it, I, um, I was really building it for myself as kind of a quick place to find information because, you know, there's place, things all over the internet and you can't ever find it a second time. So if you file it away in kind of an organized bookmark system, which is really what it is, um, then you can come back and recall it and find it later. And that's really where I started with the hopes that other people would jump in and still keep help building it up and so on. Kind of making a resource for everybody. Well, we have very similar values in that if I'm going to learn it and I could help someone else along the way, that's a win-win. And I think you have a similar value and that's what drew me to you. Kind of helps the whole world get a little better, in my view, or in a tiny way at least. <laughs> yep. And I learned uh, all the way back in even college, I, there's one semester I helped a few people with one of these classes and I like aced the class because <laughs> I didn't have to work too hard because I knew the material four or five times every time I did the, the homework. So that kind of just kind of carried on from there, I think. Yes. It, I learned, I learned so many things by teaching others. I love it. Well, I'd like to next see if we could show the wiki and I'll let you take the realm and kind of walk through what it is, how people can use it. And then also define for anyone who's interested, what is a wiki uh, because people know Wikipedia, but but Wiki is a bigger concept in organizing data. Show me what we're looking at. Okay, so out here, uh, first of all, you can reach it by going to Wiki. That's W I K I or Whiskey India Kilo India <laughs> dot W uh, X zero M I K dot net. So when you come first visit the site. I tried to make this as a landing page, obviously not fully complete right now, but uh, what I'm trying to do is the first thing you kind of see is how do I join amateur radio? Um, I started kind of in that, the Canada area, but didn't really get too far. But more importantly, when you come out here, you can click on the U.S. amateur radio licensing. And this, I have kind of made a landing page that I share out the link to people. And it kind of gets you right here, right away. And the focus is, you know, I put an order here of getting your technician link and I kind of put that in the description here and then just some other uh, common links that people may want when dealing with licensing, including how long does it take, how long does it take to get my vanity. Would you explain, I see the word edit there. Does that mean anyone could contribute or edit? Anybody could contribute and edit, uh, clarify and so on. Um, and I have, because of spam, I uh, have to approve your account. But once I approve your account, you can go, come on here and start editing. Excellent. So if we got other people who see something and are willing to contribute to the greater good here and get vetted by you, you can let them in and, and update things. Fantastic. Absolutely. The, the group mind is always smarter than one person. <laughs> Which is a little bit how Wikipedia works. Yep. Uh, so within this page here, if you... Like we'll go into the technician ham licensing page. There's quite a bit of information here, but I try and organize it in such a way that you can find whatever way you learn um, for to to get like a license. So I start out with the obvious, the ARRL ham radio license manual, um, and then I I link to the ARRL website primarily. But then I said, well, you know, Amazon people like Amazon, so I'll also include Amazon link. Sure. Um, and then also their supplemental content that they have. And that include a few other books that people have uh, highly recommended throughout the scene when people ask about getting licensing, according to the Gordon West book, the Fast Track, and so on. 
Um, I even linked to the audiobook for the fast track. That's nice. I've heard some people like to listen to that in the car as they're driving. And then uh, videos, YouTube is obviously a big thing these days for a lot of people. And so I include kind of the big four that I have seen. I'm sure there's more out there, but these are kind of the big ones I've seen. Uh, in fact, I use David Castle and myself and then W4EEY I'm using to get my uh, extra license right now. And then we're to find some practice tests and then um, places ask questions, um, including the Learning Ham Radio that we're both a part of. Right. Excellent. Fantastic. And then you've got, but you've got some other things in there, public uh, Pi Star and CW. And uh, it looks like you've been doing a little homework here to build out <laughs> some of these categories. Well, some of these may not have much in there right now. Uh, but yeah, on the side here, I kind of have, a, I tried to categorize it in what I thought made sense and they may change as we go. Uh, kind of this section here is more the VHF or kind of about the topics about the bands and so on. Um, and then we get into more of the generalized stuff, um, specifically about antennas. I thought about, you know, maybe a way for clubs to kind of put their names out there or if there's other online organizations, clubs type scenario. Um, you know, and emergency communications, you know, that's big in ham radio a lot of times. Um, mounting radios and antennas it probably could be it with antennas but just kind of a wide variety of different things um, including where to buy stuff you know yeah. sometimes you want to know where to find stuff well here you go look at that that's great <laughs> I mean, that's just pause that a minute that's excellent dx eds mountain radio quicksilver ham radio gigabytes that that's a really good kind of a a, a vetted I, I don't see anyone that I haven't heard good things about in that list, you know, and then where to get used equipment. Excellent. And then you have some parts down there as well. Yeah. Yep. Power works, uh, bulk wire, Debco. They have some, I forgot what they had specifically, but power works has all your power poles and yeah, that kind of stuff. That's just fantastic. And the, the key to this is it, it's sort of accordions in and out. So you can open something up and then can open up another area. In my view, if anyone knows WordPress, a wiki is designed so it's fairly easy to add content on and let it dynamically grow as long as it's approved. Is that a way to explain it? Uh, yep. And, uh, you know, for me, obviously I have edit in all these different sections or I just click the edit here and right here it is. This is what a wiki kind of looks like. They use a special type of a syntax and really you don't have to know that because all you have to do is start typing. You can hi highlight that section and say, I want that to be a header and it'll automatically do the markup for you. So you don't even have to learn all the this different kind of markup out here. Uh, this is what a link looks like. So your link and then your title. You don't have to know all this weird tech stuff, much like you do in Wikipedia. Right. You know, try and keep it easy by keep putting this bar up here. Excellent. And this looks a little like HTML to me. Is that uh, close to what it's using or is it its own markup modified markup language? It's actually technically called Markdown. It's oh. supposed to be something where I think it was originally developed for writers because as they start going along, they want to make something bold. Instead of typing or going, hit control B because you're in a text editor for what meant for a website, you just do a two asterisk, type your bold part, two asterisk, and then you just keep on typing. You never have to take your hands off the keyboard or do anything like that. It's, it was designed for people who write, but that also was adapted within the wiki communities. Wikipedia, I uh, use Daku Wiki, I believe it's pronounced. So they kind of adopted it there as well. Very similar to HTML. And this is part of the family. Is this of the wiki world? Would you kind of state what is the wiki world? If someone doesn't know what that even means... <laughs> Uh, how would you define it? And this looks like, is this a open source software that you added to your website? Yeah, so I call it kind of the wiki world because there's, it's much like anything else on the internet. There's only about a million different options out there and right. you just kind of pick what you like. Um, I went with this one because it's literally a text file stored on the web server. So I installed the kind of framework and then I build all the text files that are part of it. 
So there's no database. It's very easy to back up, very easy to, on the back end, make changes. I believe it was on this site here. In the early days, all of a sudden I got 1,500 new users all creating spam all over the site. And so I was very easily able to go out to the back end, just delete everything out and kind of get it back into a status quo. Uh, excellent. And I like it because it looks like uh, it's fairly easy to, to add to and learn and you don't have to understand all the commands. You just need to know what those little icons are at the beginning or at the top, and then you can go in and change things. Yep. One more question. If someone were going to sign in and add something and wants to contribute, could you kind of go through that process a little bit? Yep. So let me get out of this site here and let's go over to, uh, let's do, do an antenna topics here. Wow. So many of these areas, I've tried to make it pretty um, simple to add additional topics. So in here, you know, in, in the 10 topics, I had some calculation tools some about coax and then a few different antennas I've kind of bookmarked myself. But then uh, a lot of places that I trained add this uh, button called add a page. So when you come out here, random wire. So you can just type it. You know, I, I try and keep it as short as possible in the description here because right. that is what's used for the URL. Right. Once you page, you can kind of easily add things much cool. longer text here. So when you come out here, you got a kind of a blank page. Uh, through my experiment, experimentation, I realized that this is where you can choose what size headline. I always do the first one is a level one. That's kind of the biggest. And uh, or see, no, we were doing random wire. And then from here, you can just either describe it or you can add links to how to build it. Or if you want, describe how to build it right within here. I like to link to other sources because someone has probably done some really hard work on creating a page, creating pictures and so on. And I, I, I don't want to take away from that. I, I'd rather point them to where to find it than to remake it here and make, and then they make changes and now it's invalid. Yeah. And this is a way of building the community and connections. And that's one of the things I love. And then of course, a little link there I see for adding, making a link, a hyperlink. Yep, uh, so you can just right. click on that and it'll show you example.com external link. So if I just hit save here now, now it's a link. When you click on it, it'll take you to whatever example.com is. Right. <laughs> right. And then we have the information in a section and, and it's probably good uh, if someone doesn't know how to use this to maybe reach out to you and say, here's a correction, I would think, because you, you do want the people who are in here at least are familiar with the wiki uh, nomenclature. Wouldn't that be correct? That would be correct. And, um, I was and just lots thinking, are. I, yeah. I probably don't have a like, contact link out here. I should probably should add one based on that conversation right there. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. That would be, you know, the one that might minimize spam, but let people contact you. If you something yep. to add, uh, let me know. I think that's, that's a great idea. Well, we'll uh, say, look for it. It'll be on here soon. How's that? Yep. Well, this is very exciting because this is again, one of the many things I love about amateur radio, it's a community with a commitment to help each other. And the idea that the, when each one of us work to do our part, the whole boat raises. And uh, that's why I wanted to find my way to give back. And since I have some background in marketing, I thought, why don't I do my best with the time permitting to help promote? the community, encourage it because yep. I don't see there's any competition in this. The more people hear about it and learn about it, the more people use it, the more the hobby grows and, and also guarantees its future by engagement and use. Yeah, I totally agree. Well, this was an excellent tour of the wiki. We've got the link below and go in there. And if you see something, uh, you could either add a comment on the video as a suggestion to add, but please don't just say add this, give us the link so he can easily put it in, right? And then I'll, down I'll put there- put it right at the bottom of here, contact me. Right? <laughs> That's great. That's great. Well, Mike, thanks so much. I appreciate what you're doing. I want to thank you for being one of the moderators in the learning how to use and pass amateur, the amateur radio exams. We have the link down there as well. 
thank you for trusting me, jumping in and creating it. I did create that group because I didn't see a Facebook group just focused on supporting people in not just passing the test, but learning it as a discussion group. And so that's what brought it into existence. And thanks to your great championing of this, we have 230 members. Now, you know, it will fluctuate the engagement level, but also if you look on the screen right there, we have created categories. So any of us moderators can tag things and put them in those categories. So make sure to look at that when you come in. And what I ask is if you join, the best way to get something out of it is put something in. We learn more by contributing to others than just being on our own. So don't be silent. Contribute to this. Any, any more advice, Mike? That's what I agree. The more you share, the more you learn and uh, be willing to be wrong, uh, you know, but also learn from that and learn the quote the right way uh, beyond that. Yes, and I do want to say we do have a commitment that people are nice to each other in this group. So I will draw a line. If you get normal social media abuse, uh, I, I, I will remove you, <laughs> you know, because yeah, I yeah. came from the ham radio where we treat people with respect and kindness more than anything else. And I've been involved in social media and that's not always true. Sometimes it is, but not always true. But I am a bit of a stickler in this community. You can correct people in a nice way and not be mean. So we want this a friendly, supportive community that encourages people to learn. And thanks again for all your help. This was excellent, Mike. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Th thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to show off my wiki here and hopefully we can uh, make this the uh, place to go to learn anything, including terminology or those complicated formulas on the uh, extra tests. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Listen, if I make it or not, I'm still going to be here to help. I'm in the middle of it. Am I too old to get it or something? It's great. I love it. I, don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid yep. to not try. That's worth yep. fearing. Excellent. Thanks so much. Folks, make sure to click subscribe and the bell and look forward to your comments below. This is Martin Brossman, KI4CFS, and Mike Wills, WX0MIK.